Running over the weekend in Horry County, Myrtle Beach police telling us two people were swept out to the ocean at about 515 on Saturday afternoon. They were swimming near 12th Avenue. One person was rescued while the other swimmer washed ashore last night. He was a 15 year old young man who was visiting from North Carolina. And as the Labor Day weekend approaches now, thousands of people are expected to flock to the beach to celebrate the end of summer. However, authorities say beachgoers need to be mindful of ocean safety, especially with dangerous rip currents out in our waterways. So our News 19's Cassidy Byer has details on how your family can stay safe this holiday weekend. When you do go to the beach, a lot of people think that going to the beach is like going to the pool where you can just get in the water and swim and, and there's no problem. But, uh, but the ocean presents all kinds of challenges. For those visiting South Carolina beaches this Labor Day weekend, Parks Manager with Charleston County Parks, Michael Bradley, says to never underestimate the power of the ocean. You have waves, you have currents, you have an inshore going tide, um, and you also have structures to deal with on the beach that could pose a hazard. Of those hazards, rip currents account for over 80% of beach rescues performed by lifeguards, according to Bradley. Basically what a rip current is, it's um, flowing, it's water, it's basically currents that flow water away from shore. Um, and so they will typically form in breaks of sandbars or they'll form around structures such as jetties or piers, which a lot of beaches have. And no matter how familiar you may be with the beach, no rip current is the same, which is why visitors are urged to abide by the beach's flag system. The ocean is not a perfectly safe place and there could be things out there that we can't see nor predict. And so we're always advising people to use caution. So we must always fly the yellow flag. Uh, we will use a red flag if the water is too hazardous to be swimming in, in which case we would close our waters. Um, and then we may fly a purple flag if there's the presence of marine life. However, if caught in a rip current, Bradley says first and foremost, don't panic. So if you stay calm and you realize what's happening, Probably the first thing you can do is try swimming parallel to shore, not swimming against the water back to shore, but swim down the shore out of the current to where you're in a safer place to actually come back in. And as a former lifeguard himself, Bradley emphasized for those visiting the beach this Labor Day weekend, listen to the lifeguards. They're, they're watching out and they're going to be very proactive. And so when lifeguards are doing things like calling you in or asking you to move over or to stay away from objects, they're, they're doing it for your well-being. Cassidy Byer, News 19 WLTX.